In this video, we're going to go over some signs of impending falling. Uh, you've been expecting a fall for almost a year now, so how do you know when it's getting close to the time when uh, your mare is actually going to fall out? Um, so some of the things that you want to watch in about the last month of gestation, um, a mare on average uh, will carry a foal for about 340 days, but this can be quite variable between mares. Um, typically if a mare follows a certain pattern uh, the first year, she'll follow a similar pattern from then on out. Um, but if you don't know the mare or if she's a maiden mare, um, there are some things that we need to keep track of to know when the mare is going to fold. So some of the things that we start to check on a daily basis uh, within the last month of gestation are um, we come up and we feel on either side of the tail. <laughs> When a mare is getting ready to fall, she'll start to soften and relax these ligaments on either side of the tail head. So if you feel them daily, you'll start to be able to notice those changes as they get softer and, and more relaxed. The other thing that we watch is the um, mare's vulva. As she gets closer to foaling, the vulva, which is this long strip of tissue here, will start to look more swollen and elongated. Um, so that can give you a hint that she's getting closer to foaling as well. And then the other thing that we check on a daily basis is the amount of mammary development or udder development. If I just get this mare to step back a little bit, she's already developing a reasonable amount of a, of a bag in here. This mare's had a couple of foals, so uh, there's a, a reasonable amount of uh, udder development. She's probably about three weeks from foaling. Some maiden mares won't, won't develop much of a bag until much closer to foaling, so this is something that we need to keep an eye on daily as well. So as the mare's um, udder develops and she develops more of a bag as she gets closer to foaling, um, the closer and closer she gets, the more and more teat fill you'll notice as well. So the teats at the end of each of her uh, udders will uh, start to fill and become uh, more prominent as well. And so again, as we get closer to foaling, we start to look at the secretions that are in that mammary gland. Uh, when they're about a month or three weeks out, those secretions are still quite watery. Um, you can actually just take a finger and, and milk out some of those secretions and as you get closer to foaling they're going to turn more into milk um, and then more like colostrum like the last month they make before they foal. Um, traditionally we used to monitor the electrolytes in the mammary secretions to see when they get close to foaling but we found it's um, more economical and uh, easier to actually monitor pH. Um, the pH of the mammary secretions will drop from being more of a basic solution and pH of over 8 um, to being less than 7. And when it gets less than 7, they typically fall within about 24 hours and, and we found this to be fairly reliable. You'll also notice, especially in some mares that have had foals before, um, that as they get closer to foaling, um, they may start to drip milk or stream milk. If they're streaming milk for days on end, that can become a bit of a concern that they're going to lose that colostrum that's really important for the foal. Um, so it's important to let your veterinarian know if you think that's happening, get some tips on, on what you can do about that. Um, but a lot of times mares will also uh, wax up, so they'll develop a little bead of wax uh, right on the end of their teat. Uh, and usually that indicates they're going to fall within the next 12 to 24 hours, but some mares can take up to a few days to fall after they develop that wax. So it's not always 100% uh, reliable, but it can be a helpful parameter to monitor as well. Um, so when they're getting close to falling, if you're going to fall them out in a stall, it's a good idea uh, several weeks ahead of time to start getting them used to that stall. So they'll develop some antibodies that they can pass on to the foal, and they'll also just become more relaxed and comfortable in that stall so that, uh, um, you know, changing that environment, you know, in the few days before they fall isn't going to uh, upset them. So, um, so we usually start that three, four weeks ahead of time. Uh, and then the things that we use here at the clinic, and some people can use on farm as well, but uh, when they're getting close to foaling, we'll, also, we'll be monitoring them with videos. Um, so we can watch them on cameras uh, or on our uh, cell phones uh, with an app that, we, that links to the cameras in the clinic here, um, where we can just watch the mare's behavior, whether she's becoming restless or any indication that she is looking like she's going to fold. Um, and then as they get close to foaling, we also make use of a full alert monitoring system. So it's a little magnetic device that sutures on either side of the mare's vulva. And when she goes into labor and that vulva starts to expand, it will trigger the uh, alarm on that full alert and let us know that the foal is coming. So, um, so this can be really handy things to know that the, the foal is on its way. So, um, and if your mare looks like she's getting close and within a few days of foaling, uh, we do recommend that you start to bed her on straw. That's the best material to, for the foal 
um, to be born into. So, um, so those are all things that we start to do as we get closer to falling and, and things that we watch. And, and if you can be there to watch it, it's one of the coolest things you'll ever see.